Hey BookTube, welcome back. Welcome back if you're just visiting. Welcome back if you're a long-lived booktuber. We love to have you here. I love it when people visit my channel. Feel free to leave comments about what we're talking about. And um, today, I'm Michael Romeo as always, and I'm talking about books as always. And today's my July to be read list. So, today we're talking about my July to be read list, my TBR. And um, there's some good stuff coming up this month. I think it's going to be an excellent month for reading. I've got three group reads that I'm, being, I'm taking part in. And um, I've also got a little project of my own that I'm doing on the side. Um, as far as the group reads go, uh, the first group read I'm getting in on is with... A.J. Dunn and their um, Killer Reads Book Club, I believe it's called. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, A.J. Um, and we're doing One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest by Ken Kesey. Uh, I've seen the movie, saw the movie years ago, back when I was in high school. And um, never read the book, though. And I'm looking forward to reading the book. Um, I currently have it on hold at the library, and I'm hoping it's going to be in in time for me to start reading it with uh, the new month. Uh, the second group read I'm doing is with MJ at Reading This Life. Um, this month we're, we're doing The Invisible Lives of Hattie LaRue by V.E. Schwab. Uh, I know a little bit about the book. I work with somebody who read it uh, a couple of months ago and she told me a little bit about it. Um, I won't go on about, about it yet until I've read it. Uh, just in case I got a misconception about what's happening in it. I don't want to mislead anybody. But it's supposed to be a very good book. I've heard a lot of good feedback on it. And then the third one I'm reading with Ollie at Criminali. He's got a group read going uh, called The Birth Year Books uh, from a tag he did earlier in the year where um, the tag included what everybody's favorite book was for the year they were, that was published the year they were born. And uh, this is one of the books that somebody earmarked as their favorite book the year they were born. And uh, it's The Last Picture Show by Larry McMurtry. And for me, this is a reread because I read this back in college and uh, loved it. Absolutely loved it. And I can only imagine I'm going to love it even more now because I have more life experience under my belt. And um, I think I'll just appreciate the characters more and what they're going through a whole lot more than I did when I was in my shallow 20s. And believe me, my 20s were shallow. Um, uh, and those are the three group reads I'm doing. And I'm anticipating all of them being four or five star reads. And then on the side, I'm also doing a little project of my own. I'm rereading three or four books. I'm gonna I'm gonna put four on the list, but I'll be happy if I get to three of them. Um, four books that I read when I was a kid that were instrumental in sealing in my love of reading. Um, the first one is one of the first books I remember reading cover to cover, a full-length novel. Um, I must have been about eight or nine years old when I read Where the Red Fern Grows. Um, I'm sure a lot of you recognize that title, especially if you're around my age, because it was uh, a very popular uh, kid's book at that time. And um, I know I'm probably going to cry in it because something sad happens in it. And uh, I'll cry again. <laughs> and let's see, uh, I'm also going to read um, A Day No Pigs Would Die which was a book I read when I was about 12 years old. I, I read it again in my 20s, just for fun. And again, I'm going to read it. Uh, because it was it was a, a game-changing book for me when I was in, still in those formative years of reading. Um, it's a, it's a coming-of-age story about a young boy um, growing up on a farm and learning the good and the bad of life as they as things occur. I'm also going to read Island at the Top of the World, which was a, which was originally published as The Lost Ones, 
and um, changed to Island at the Top of the World when Disney got their hands on it. But the copy I had was Island at the Top of the World, and I managed to get a copy of it from Thrift Books before I started my 100 book challenge, which is in another video. It basically says I'm not going to buy any more books until I read 100 books I already have. Um, but Island at the Top of the World is an adventure story set in the Arctic and um, a lot of fun having to do with Vikings and lost tribes and um, it, it's, it was a fun book back then. It gave me my taste for adventure stories and thrillers and uh, looking forward to doing it again. And if I have time, I will do a fourth book. One of my favorite books from that time when I was a kid is April Morning by Howard Fast. Uh, another coming of age story as a um, young boy is thrust into the realities of the Revolutionary War. And um, I read it again not so long ago and um, thoroughly enjoyed it again. And yeah, and if I have time after I read the other three, that'll be my fourth book that I'm reading. So that's my July TBR. Three group reads and a three to four book project of my own. And um, I think I'm going to be really satisfied with what I come across this this month. I think it's going to be a very satisfying month for reading. Um, and I look forward to it. If you know any of these books, leave comments down below. Um, let me know what you think of them. And if you want to talk about something else, leave a comment down below and we'll talk about that. Uh, I'm not picky. I just like to talk about books. And um, glad you're all here. Glad you stopped by. Hope to see you again. Meanwhile, Amor Fati, love your fate. It's good to do.